Hey guys, today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about two different lip stains. Um, they're from both. They're both from different brands. One's a CoverGirl and one's a Maybelline. I'm gonna go over which one I like best. Um, how you how you can apply them. Um, different techniques. Um, also just which one I would go with if I were you. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So the first one is the CoverGirl Outlast um, lip stain. See, it just kind of has a tip. It has like the color and the number. This is in 435. I don't know if you guys could see that. 435. And it's just a very sheer wash of color. It's that one right there. Now, the problem with this is that I have a review on it, but I'm just going to mention it for the sake of this video. Um, the problem with this is that if you start using it a lot, it's like the pen the formulation doesn't catch up to the tip quite as fast like if I use it if I've used it twice throughout the day which they last long um when I go to apply it the third time I feel like the color actually doesn't come out of the tip kind of it's like it's like dried out already and you gotta kind of close the cap and leave it like this for a couple of days before you can actually get a nice wash of color um so that's the downfall in this the second downfall that I don't like I mean it's um it's a it's a lip stain so lip stains you got to be very careful when you apply them you don't want to apply them to dry lips because it's gonna it's just gonna accentuate the dryness on your lips um it's very more sheer like it only and it only for some reason applies on my bottom lip to color the way it's packaged instead of my top lip and with lip stains you got to make be careful because if you have darker lips like mine mine's are like kind of like pinkish brown like a rosy brown color if you were to try going with the lighter shade it's basically going to mix in with the color of your lips and it's going to create a new shade so that's one thing to remember if you have like bright light pinks poppy lips um you can go with any shade and because they're light you know basically it'll uh, it'll apply to the color that you see in the tube um, you can also try wearing like a moisturizer under it and a little bit of concealer more of like a creamier one so that the lipstick can easily glide over your lips if you want the true tube color um, so the next one I'm going to basically going to be comparing it to is the Maybelline's color sensation I have it backwards and this one I have it in the color wink of pink and it's number 15 I don't know if you guys will be able to see that but it's a really really pretty like bright pink um, I was really excited when Maybelline came out with this product because I really love Maybelline's products I do you know fondly use their mascaras I really like their their um when it's the word that I'm looking for their foundations and etc um, so let me show you watch of this one so I don't know if you could tell this is the cover girls and this is the Maybelline's right here and this one's more of a pink this one's more of a coral and I don't know if you guys can see the tips but that's a tip side by side this is the Maybelline and this is the cover girl the CoverGirl tip tends to get more like flat, more quicker, and it kind of like if you're trying to do a nice even outlining, kind of like a lip liner, you won't get this with this because it'll feather out really easily onto the upper part of your lip. This, I've already used it like several times and I actually have it on my lips right now. It's a really pretty like bright pink and it's more like a matte. I like it too because it's not sticky at all. Um, this is more like a, a, it stays pointed, which is really good because you can apply the pointed tip as an outliner and use the longer part to kind of just start, just slant it on your tip and just go horizontally in a somewhat curved motion and do the same thing up top. Start from your the little cupid section and then just work your way out and then quickly blend it with your fingertips. Um, so overall i mean i like them both you can buy these anywhere you can buy them at walgreens you can buy them at cbs this one you get more product and they're i believe 
this they're about the same price i got this one for 7.99 at cbs and this was buy one get one free and i believe it was 8.99 this is 0.1 flow ounce as opposed to this it's 0 0.09 ounces so you get more in this like i said and i would probably if i had to choose between the two i would go with this one just because i feel like it's an easier application the color is more truer without having without me having to use concealer or anything so i mean i hope this helps just my two cents on them i mean the smell of them kind of smell like they actually both have similar smells i don't know if you guys know like um crayola or crayon i don't even know the name brand they came out with markers like back in the day like and they had a, a smell to them like if it was like a red marker it smells like strawberry or cherry um that's kind of like what these smell like they smell like fruity like if it's like a fruity marker scent so i mean that's good it's not overwhelming and the last thing i'm going to say about this one though is um when you first apply it and you bop your lips um this one tends to feel a little bit on the sticky side it'll go away after like having it on for a couple of minutes but you do feel it sticky and kind of tacky when you first apply it so um i hope you guys like my review on uh, versus or comparison of these two products right here um go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions or message me and i'll see you all guys soon bye